Hello everyone, welcome to another podcast of Food Theory with Tejasvi Arabati. In this podcast, let's learn about an everyday dish. Every day we make it at home, we make it, we love it, we eat it and it's a perfect uh, recipe to start a good lunch, sambar. Sambar is a perfect recipe for those who want nutrition with taste. uh everything put in one together it has vegetables in it it has protein in it there is perfect amount of spice so what's so interesting about sambar sambar um you might be thinking oh my god does sambar have a history too um yes it does and it's a very interesting story so let's learn about it back in 1700s the king of tanjore was very frustrated with these wars happening from the moguls and everyone he didn't know what to do he was very tense if he can save his state of tanjore so he went to shivaji maharaj of maratha empire so he talked with chatrapati shivaji he said uh, shivaji i need your help i can't save this state can you do something about it i need your help in fighting this war shivaji maharaj said uh, you know what i'm busy with this um, moguls man i'll try to do what i can do and uh, let's see what happens so what shivaji maharaj did was he sent his son to the, to fight the war on behalf of tanjore i'll tell the name of his son later you will know so he went there he fought the wars he stayed there for good amount of time you know got to know about uh, the tanjore people and everything then he uh, fought wars for them uh, there was a good accommodation for him it was great everything was great so he lived there for a good amount of time then he realized that he was missing home cooked food he was missing his mother's food he was missing the food that his chefs used to make so one day he asked the tamilian chef uh, uh, chef i'm missing my home food can you do something for me uh, and the chef asked uh, maharaja what do you want to eat then maharaja was like can you make aunty what is aunty they he didn't know what is aunty aunty is dal cooked with some vegetables uh spiced up with goda masala which is a masala made with uh dried coconut peppercorns and stuff and then uh, they used to put it on uh, the cooked dal with some chili powder and uh, garnish it with uh, cilantro so this was aunty so uh, this chef he didn't know what to do so he asked maharaj Oh, maharaj can you just come and uh, see while i'm making it and if there is anything you can add just let me know so we started making it and uh, the maharaja was there he he was looking at that uh, the way he was making it he boiled the dal he put some vegetables to it he added some water uh, he added some hing to it and there was a special rasam powder which we used to make the spice mix of rasam so he put it in there everything was good till now but uh the maharaja saw tamarind there tamarind before i tell you uh, any further tamarind is discovered by the arab traders when they reached uh india and saw uh, a date like looking thing on it the tamar means date so they saw it and they, uh, they named it as tamar e hind hey it's a date of india so that's how we got the name called tamarind so he saw tamarind there he squeezed Uh, and he was in, it was interesting to look at so he squeezed out the water from it and the maharaja put the juices of tamarind into that dal mix and he mixed it it he put some jaggery to it and when they ate it with the rice man he was so impressed he was missing amti but this was much more interesting than amti to him so what is the name of this maharaj his name is sambhaji bhosle so this sambhaji bosle named that dish as sambar that's how sambar has originated so this is the history of sambar and it is now famous all around the world let's go to the tip part of the sambar so when you when you make sambar of course we never make small quantities it's impossible to make a small, small quantity of sambar we always make it in a bulk quantity and we eat as much as we can on the day it's made then we store it in the refrigerator eat it in next two days it happens it's been happening all my life my mom does it every other day so when this sambar is left over what to do with this 
Hmm, interesting, right? What I used to do or what my favorite thing to do is drain the sambar, like drain all the water and the vegetables, like separate them, you mean filter them, and once you are left with the vegetables, just pick out the vegetables like drumsticks because you go you are going to blend this one, they blend these vegetables. So, blending drumstick is not a good idea. So, separate these drumsticks. uh try to open the drumstick one by one and take out the flesh in it that's a suggestive way to eat a drumstick of course so take out all the flesh from the drumstick put it in these vegetables and blend these vegetables yes as stupid as it sounds trust me blend these vegetables keep this paste puree on the side take a pan add some ghee to it of course i love ghee everyone loves ghee put some ghee into the pan As I said if you remember I said put your spices into the fat or oil first so put your kashmiri chili powder for the color put some sambar masala to it put some rasam powder to it and a little pinch of garam masala just to get that spicy feeling once they are nicely roasted put this puree in and let it cook for 10 to 15 seconds you see this uh, puree will change its color Now when it starts to boil and it starts to uh, fry a little bit put the leftover juices which you strained before put those uh, juices in or put that water in and mix it and garnish it with cilantro this tastes fantastic when you eat it as a, a side dish for your dosas idlis or any tiffins or even for your rice this was close to the udp style of Uh, sambar which we love eating in those udp restaurants or special ve- pure vegetarian restaurants it works out perfectly my mom loved it and trust me you have to try this out it's amazing that being said thank you for the love you've shown to the podcasts i will be back with another interesting dish in the next podcast till then stay safe this is tejas veerbati signing off